2018 Accurate ELX Car Review When Honda launched its Accurate brand inside the mid-1980s, it hit the streets strutting which has a pair of sporty, luxury aiming models powered by Stati Offheart engines. The Legend Sedan SOC 24 valve 2.5 liter V6 was one among Honda's first swings with the engine type, as the beloved and multiple 10 best cars winning Integra hatchback were built with a dock 16 valve 1.6 liter inline 4, racy stuff for 1986. Then Acura busted out your 1991 NSX, a four wheeled aluminum ingot of speed that walked as well as the supercar gentry tapped on their own storied badges, and said, look what I is capable of doing. The Good Points of 2018 Accurate TLX Comfy seating, nicely weighted steering, refined handling, naturally aspirated power, priced right. The Bad Points of 2018 Accurate TLX Technophobes will not need to apply, cost is still no steal brand carries on lack prestige. A decade on, however, Acura's core mission gave the impression to have been lost inside a haze of alphanumeric naming schemes, too close for comfort rebadged Hondas, and SUV dreams. The showroom offerings had lost the spark while focusing of the first generation Acuras. Today, the executives leading this company assure us that Acura may be through a duration of deep introspection and it is now fitting in with a restore its place from the automotive universe. The 2017 NSX was the first task, and also the refreshed for 2018 Kia Lex Sports sedan reviewed right here is the follow-up. Future Now For starters the T-Alexis chrome-beaked front end is restyled to feature a genuine mesh grille. The front fenders are actually reshaped along with the V6 model's rear bumper resculpted. Engine options are unchanged. Buyers may select either the 206 horsepower 2.4 liter inland 4 mated for an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which interestingly also employs a torque converter and the 290 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 paired that has a conventional 9 speed automatic that has become reprogrammed for 2018. Premium fuel is required for both engines. Front wheel drive designs include Acura's precision all wheel steer pause as standard equipment, while its super handling all wheel drive setup shod with torque vectoring now can be put into any V6 model to get a reasonable $2,000. Previously, AWD required first choosing the technology option package. The tech package adds navigation and HD radio with digital traffic to the two main 4 liter car. The V6 model also gets contrast seats stitching a powered thigh support extender with the driver, and chrome door sill trim. Further simplifying things, the Acura watch suite of safety and driver assistance features landkeeping assist, forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning mitigation is standard throughout the entire lineup, along with a redesigned infotainment interface with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. The infotainment retains the potentially confusing dual screens, though the lower, 7.0-inch display featuring capacitive touch operation. Acura claims a 30% faster response time, although we can't verify that stat, it felt subjectively quicker. Aspect Specs we drove a TLX V6 aspect with shot to view whether Acura's renewed fascination with precision crafted performance can be seen in what is largely a midterm refresh of your vehicle that hasn't left a lot of an impression mainly because it arrived for 2015. The aspect could be the one for people who actually wished to drive, positioned, in Acura's words, off towards the side from the TLX V6 tech along with the comfort and feature focused V6 advance. Interior features include an S-inspired red or black leather seating with Fox Sweet trim, a chunky leather-wrapped tire, 
ventilated front seats, along with a wireless charging pad for portable devices. The exterior gets LED fog lamps, dark chrome trim for the grille, matte black window surrounds, a black deck lid spoiler, and also a full complement of aspect badges. The 2018 TLX can be found in eight exterior colors, for example the alluring aspect exclusive still night blue pearl in our test vehicle. All nice touches, even so the aspect's sporting hardware was our concentration. Acura didn't possess other versions in the car available for evaluation, but we'll test them out. As soon as they're available. The transformation starts off with ditching the V6 car's standard 18-inch wheels and 50-series rubber to get a set of 19-inch wheels shod with 40-series Michelin Primacy MXM4 rated tires. These aspect rims are 8.0 inches wide rather than 7.5. Dampers with a revised valve tuning are teamed with higher spring rates and reworked bushings to supply sharper responses and reduced body motions, says Acura. The rear anterior bar also turns into a bump, increasing in diameter from 24.7 to 25.4 mm. Curiously, while all Aspect TLXs receive the firmer dampers, only AWD Aspects receive the firmer springs as well as the thicker anterior bar. The Aspect's electrically assisted power steering of 15.1 to 1 rack ratio in AWD cars, 14.6 colon 1 in tow-wheel drive models may be modified for better on-center feel as well as maintain responsiveness at speeds above 42 miles per hour, a more accurate Acura. The cumulative effect of those changes is significant. The revised on-center tuning lends a refined touch and produces truer straight-line tracking requiring fewer minute corrections when compared to any previous TLX we've driven. Turn in, too, is sharper, the aspect responds quickly and accurately to inputs at any speed. The biggest revelation is available in long. High speed sweepers in which the car rewards looking deep to the turn with true tracking of even minimal steering inputs. At lower speeds, the shot system does a superb job of apportioning torque fore and aft as well as over the rear axle to sharpen turn in, letting the motorist keep the pedal down without inducing squealing tires. Shot depends on an electronic brain that evaluates numerous parameters engine torque, transmission gear wheel speed, steering angle, lateral acceleration, yaw rate, and more, delivered in the relevant system AQs to find out optimal torque distribution. Up to 90% may be sent forward during normal operation, and 70% may be shifted rearward when called on, the real key to super handling, however, may be the system's chance to toggle 100% with the rear torque between your ear wheels. In operation it's virtually seamless, requiring a small initial leap of faith about the driver's part before they are able to completely exploit its capabilities. Pow Pow Power Trends As mentioned, little has evolved with the V6 as well as its attendant transmission. Acceleration is brisk, with 290 horsepower and 267 lbfd of torque in the naturally aspirated V6. We've measured 5.7 seconds with the 0 to 60 mph run coming from a rep date model. There are four driving modes, Econ, Normal, and Sport provide smooth, unobtrusive operation, while Sport Plus switches for the most aggressive mapping and holds gears longer in all of the situations. Ratios are stacked tightly, rendering it fun to use the wheel-mounted paddle shifters. Sport Plus switches to manual mode while using first tug of an lever and holds it until the motorist instructs otherwise, what's more, it allows for double downshifts. In the less aggressive settings, the transmission returns they are driving after a few moments of inactivity. Numerous algorithms run within the background, optimizing transmission operation to suppress upshifts during spirited cornering and also to hold gears while climbing and descending steep grades. 
if it looks like a lot of electronic tomfoolery that may only make an effort to put a lid about the fun, we're here to share with you that's far from the truth. The aspect we drove had delightfully little wind and road noise within the cabin, thanks in part towards the active noise control system. Other audio tricks, and less desirable ones inside our book, include adding a ruffian growl for the engine soundtrack in sport and sport plus modes and, inside the aspect, increasing engine noise inside cabin by nearly 4 decibels, says Acura. We like engine sounds, but we prefer these phones be real. Acura is apparently rediscovering the check and flow that creates a vehicle engaging to operate a vehicle. The real question for you is how much men and women pay for it. The 2018 TLX line should go on sale in June and initiate at $34,000, but getting into an AWD aspect will set you back $45,750, territory occupied from the usual gang of entry-level European sports sedan competitors. The Acura makes a far more compelling case for itself than before. However, which has a chassis that is certainly better at facilitating a fantastic time.